Hey guys, welcome back to part two of this Emma Frost cloak tutorial. If you missed part one or need a refresher, you can find a link in the description box below, but don't forget to come back here when you're done. Along with that link, you'll also find a list of materials and tools as usual. I also want to mention that this cloak can be used for other superheroes, not just Emma Frost. I know Edna Mode always says no capes, but they just look so good, especially in slow motion. Am I right? For the edging, I used satin blanket binding. I used sew on snaps to attach it to the corset. If I were to remake it, I would use hook and eye closures instead of the snaps. The snaps held up okay, but I definitely hulked out of it a few times. Not cute. After hemming the top edge in the last video, I moved on to the binding. I purchased the binding because I didn't have time to make my own bias tape out of the yards of satin that I purchased, but you can definitely make your own to save some money. I laid the cloak out flat on my floor, and so began the constant worry about getting the white satin dirty. If I could have rented time in a clean room to do this, I would have. I trimmed all the frayed edges, then I cut a strip of binding for one edge. I clipped it in place, down to the corner. I regret not getting close-up footage of how I do the corner, so I included a couple links in the description to give you an idea. It's kind of like wrapping a really stressful present. Anyway, I did this all the way around the edge of the cloak until I got back to the top edge. Even though it looks like a lot of clips, my clip box has 100 in it and I didn't even use them all. After clipping the binding, I sewed all the way around the edge in one go. Then I added some top stitching at the corners to keep them flat. To add the snaps, I clipped it back onto my corset on my dress form. Then I sewed them one pair at a time. I used three pairs on each side of the front one in the center V, one at the peak of the sweetheart shape, and one just before my armpit, for a total of six pairs on the front. I used two pairs on the back and put them on either side of the back lacing. So eight snap pairs should do it, and I would use the same number of hook and eye closures as well. The snaps were quite tedious to sew on while it was on the corset. I suggest marking placement, and then sewing from the comfort of your couch. Probably with snacks. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below who your favorite member of the X-Men is. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, and see you next time! Should I say welcome back? Or is that too present? <laughs> That's gonna be great. <laughs> You're just like looking as I slowly creep out of this shot. <laughs>